what is dynamic memory allocation? So I, I regarding your question, I mean, what, wherever they going to put things uh, to everybody, I'm just going to edit. But I, so I'm not sure where, from where you're going to get it yet. But they will. Okay. So dynamic memory allocation. We will use dynamic memory allocation when our program can only determine how much memory it needs in running time. So let's have an example. When the user decides the size of an array. So until now, we learned that when we declare an array, we have to say what size is it. So the compiler we know ahead of time how much memory to put. Working with pointers, we can allocate it dynamically. That means a program can start running, and while running, maybe the user is going to determine how much mem how much space, how much elements does he need in whatever we do. As a side note, the memory that we dynamically allocate is going to come from a different place in our in our program memory. It's called a heap. I'm not going to go into that too much today. Just in general, you can know that you have the static memory, the one that the compiler can allocate ahead of time, and you're going to have a separate memory for dynamic allocations. But it's all under the hood. You're just going to allocate memory, and it's going to happen. This is just like as a side note. OK. So how are we going to allocate and deallocate memory? We're going to use two keys, two um, functions, new and delete. So what is new? New, operator new is used to allocate memory in running time. And what's the syntax? Let's say we have, we are declaring about a variable int inside of five, and we're going to do a pointer to char. We're going to do new char, and in square brackets, we're going to put the size. So here we allocate an array of type char with size 5. This is dynamic allocation. It's not a static one, it's a dynamic one because we use the new. Delete. Operator delete is used to deallocate memory in runtime. And syntax, we're just going to do delete, empty square back, uh, brackets, and the name of the component that we are deleting its memory. And why is it important? Because we are the programmers, we control the memory that we allocate or deallocate. And we don't have a lot of memory. So it's the programmer responsibility to deallocate all allocated memory. So whenever we do new, we need to know to do delete. OK, let's do one more project. And I think we're going to end it here. We still have another subject that I prepared. I mean, I will, I'm going to share maybe for, for you guys if you want for later use. But because of the timeline, we're just going to do one more project, which is, which is a nice one. And we're kind of going to end it there. Uh, OK, so let's see the project. Write the following function. Um, so it's a function. It's not in the main. It's a different one. Um, input. The function is going to get a pointer to a string, and the output will be a string, which will be a duplication of the input string. Instructions. The function will dynamically allocate a new char asterisk, char pointer, at the same size of the input string. It will copy all characters from the input string to the new string and return the duplicated string. So here's an example. So I'm, I hard-coded a string, OK? I did char, str, 9, and I gave it input, like uh, content. Then that would be in the main, obviously. Then I'm going to declare a pointer to a char. I'm going to name it dupe. That's my decision. And I'm going to assign it the return value from dupe str that gets my string as a parameter. So what I need to write down, what I need to program, is the dupe str. This is what you need to program. So let's start together, and then you're going to take it. So 
So let's see, what do we need? What do we need? So I call this function dupe str. But let's see, what is the return value? Can somebody tell me? It needs to return a string. Maybe a pointer to a string. Let's look, output. A string which will be a duplicate of the input string. So we're going to return char asterisk. And what is going to be our input? A string. And remember, we don't need to give it a size because string ends with backslash zero, right? So that's going to be our prototype, our declaration, the name of the function. Uh, what? Let's see, what does it need to do inside? We need to create a new string and to allocate memory dynamically, right? So it's going to be another, I would say, char. Oh. No spaces there. Like a new string, and I'm going to give it, I'm going to use the new. I'm going to say I want to, I want to allocate characters in the size of maybe something like Well, we need to find the size. So maybe you can use the string here. If you use the string, you can use the size. Um, yeah. So let's see. If we use string here, we can probably do this, right? Something like that. And so we declare that. Now we need to do a loop. Loop to go. What so how so now we have a string in the same size. What should we do now? We need to copy, right? Loop go over the input string and copy. We want to return this is not code this is just writing down what to do right so is it clear can you try to take it from here let's run let's see the code but I think you got it so let's see so we have the dupe str, but we also have the main. So let's see, in the main, we are uh, calling dupe str, OK? So let's see, dupe str. First, we declare, the si we declare an int to be the size of the input str. Then we are declaring a new pointer, and we dynamically allocate uh, size plus one. I allocated space to the backslash zero as well. And uh, now I'm just doing a check. If we didn't get the memory allocation, that means there is not enough memory. So I'm just going to stop the program. Oops, oops, what have I done? Okay, it's too late. <laughs> but but if we are not getting to this return, that means we're going to get to this for. I'm doing a for loop going over the size of the first SDR and just copy one by one. And in the end, I'm copying the backslash zero and I'm returning it. But what I didn't do in the main right here that I need to deallocate the memory, right? All oh, right, because let's try to see. Up. 
Oops, it's not on the right one. Oops, sorry, I'm on default. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, 